Lompoc. Tune in, 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 Lompoc. Let's tune in to what's happening in Lompoc. Hi there, I'm Jasmine McGinty, Development Program Specialist with the City of Lompoc, and I'm here with Samantha Scroggin, Community Relations Manager with the City of Lompoc as well. And on this episode of Tune in Lompoc, we're going to talk about housing in Lompoc and the needs that we have really here in town. Housing has been a priority of the city, so we try and offer multiple programs to really help residents that are looking for housing or that are in housing and just need some assistance to better those needs. That's right, Jasmine. We have a number of great programs right here with the city, and we partner with a number of wonderful agencies as well, um, a number of nonprofits to offer these housing programs. So let's go take a look at just a few of these housing programs, Jasmine. All right. Hi, I'm Teresa Gallivan, Economic Development Director, Assistant City Manager for the City of Lompoc. The Lompoc City Council has made housing one of its top priorities for the city. And we have been working on a number of projects and have had a number of projects come through in the last five years, uh, creating more than 400 new units in the community. Um, while we continue to work on new projects, we have a variety of different types of housing available in our community and are proud to offer such a diverse um, options for our community and residents. There are a variety of housing options in the Lompoc Valley, ranging from apartments like the Seabreeze Apartments to executive style housing at Falcon Heights. There, there are numerous new developments over the last several years that have come online, such as Briar Creek, uh, Laurel Crossing, and as I mentioned, Seabreeze Apartments. We are proud to have this type of diversity of housing in our community and look forward to much more coming in the future. <laughs> Today with Christy Alarcon, she's the Community Development Program Manager for the City of Lompoc and she's going to tell us a little bit about some of the programs that the city offers to support housing in the community. So Christy, can you give us a little overview of some of the housing? Well, the city has some great programs here. We uh, fund affordable housing developments like this one that we're ha at today. Um, we fund a home buyer assistance program for low income families uh, to purchase their own home for the first time. We also fund a tenant-based rental assistance program and that helps low-income families get into uh, rental housing. So that provides a security deposit and a utility deposit. Um, in addition, over many years, the city has funded a lot of acquisition and rehab of multifamily properties and we currently fund a multifamily and single family rehab program. So um, we help in a lot of different ways. Okay, and how can people get more information on some of these programs? You can go to the city website or you can um, call us directly. Um, there's a, a whole bunch of options on ways to get a hold of us. Okay, and that's cityoflompoke.com for some more information on the housing programs for the city. So, um, and, and there's a variety for, for different income levels. Um, can you tell us about how you serve different income levels for, for housing? Sure. The Home Buyer Assistance Loan Program assists families that are at or below low income. Um, many of our affordable housing projects are at or below uh, very low income or extremely low income. And all of those different income levels are um, updated annually and are available on the city website. If you're curious what income level you fall into, it's pr by household size. And that would be how you would determine what you would qualify for. Great. So cityoflompoke.com once again. Um, and you, work, you partner with a number of, of local agencies too and nonprofits, don't you, to work with housing. Can you tell us a little bit about some of those agencies that you work with? So we, um, we do. We partner in a whole variety of, um, I, I guess, in points of contact. Uh, so we help with the rental aspect. Uh, we partner with the housing authority in developments and also in making sure our funding goes as far as possible with the security deposit assistance. Oftentimes it is somebody who may already be on Section 8. Not a lot of people know that when you're on Section 8, um, you are receiving assistance for your rent, but you're not getting that security deposit assistance or utility deposit assistance. And that could be a big cost burden for a low-income family. Uh, the other component 
events or other places you might see us in the community is with the home buyer assistance program we partner with people's self-help housing. Um, they actually are contracted out and they really do all of the underwriting of the program. So that's who your realtor would talk to is um, our partner, people's self-help housing. You're familiar with the need for housing in this community. Um, can you tell us some of the obstacles that you see to housing for people here in Lompoc? Sure, so um, some of the variety of need we see is we have a very low vacancy rate, not just in Lompoc, but countywide. So with a less than 1% vacancy rate, that makes it really challenging um, for not only a low income household to be competitive when applying for rental housing, but also for someone of higher income. Um, so there's less units to pick from, so it makes it harder to get into that unit. The other thing we're seeing is a rise in um, you know, supply and demand. Less supply and the demand is up there, so uh, landlords are raising rents. So mm -hmm. the rents in Lompoc are going up and mm -hmm. it's difficult for anybody to afford that rent. And then you have to remember that security deposit is twice the rent. So right. um, it, it makes it very challenging for even families that aren't low income to get into housing. Um, and when we, what we see in Lompoc, again, um, with the home ownership opportunities is that the prices are going up. It, it is very challenging. A lot of families are commuting for work. Um, so it, it, it has um, definitely been one demand area that we're trying to address. Unfortunately, our funding source only allows us to address it with low income families which makes it twice as hard because there's less money to work with. But it, I see it across the board. We have people at the counter all the time who are asking about opportunities or programs mm -hmm. for both those of low income and that are above the low income thresholds. So there really is a need in town for what you're providing. For more provides, housing, what your yes. Mm -hmm. So thank you. You're welcome. She's a grants record technician with the Economic and Community Development Department for the City of Lompoc, and she's going to tell us about a home repair program the department offers. Yes, we have an awesome program. The city offers up to $50,000 to help low-income homeowners within the city limits of Lompoc do needed repairs and upgrades to their homes. We can help homeowners do repair plumbing, electrical, put in new flooring, um, any up grades or maintenance at the home may need even some energy efficient type of um, things like new windows and doors. We can also help people that are disabled that might need ramps to get into their homes just to make things nice and easy for them. But it is an awesome program. There's a side of it where you can make monthly payments at a mm -hmm. fixed 3% interest rate and then there's another side where if the homeowner is disabled or 60 years of age or older it's at a fixed four percent and the payment is deferred great so mm -hmm. how can people find out if they qualify for these programs they can just come over to the city of lompoc and meet me at the counter and we can just give them a short little review of the program and they can apply or they can go online mm -hmm. at our city, city web mm -hmm. at our city <laughs> website and get an application Okay, great. And if they have questions, they can give you a call as well? Yes, they can call me so. at 875-8041. We do prefer um, appointments. So we've had a lot of success through the years with our home repair program. We've helped hundreds of families through the, the division. Um, and we're looking forward to implementing another program because housing is a major priority for the city. So. Yes, that is true, Sam. We have another program that we're hoping to launch very soon. It's where we will be offering $5,000 to help do um, emergency repairs for low-income homeowners. There will be no credit checks with that. There will still be um, a small lien against the property, but there's no payment either for those low-income families that need that extra help. Great. So we'll look forward to mm -hmm. that program coming soon. So yes. stay tuned for that. Thank you, Chanel. Thank you. It's trivia time. All right, question one. Which of the following programs is offered by the City of Lompoc to assist residents with housing needs? A. Home Buyer Assistance Program B. Tenant Based Rental Assistance Program TBRA C. 
CDBG Home Repair Loan Program, or D, all of the above? Correct, that's D, all of the above. So I'm here with Anna of People Self Help Housing today, and she's going to tell us a little bit about um, how People Self Help Housing helps uh, people find housing in Lompoc. Yes, thank you for having me here, Samantha. Um, Can you tell us a little bit about how, how you help people find houses in Lompoc? Well, in addition to working with the City of Lompoc with the Down Payment Assistance Program, another way we assist Lompoc residents is by uh, providing lo low-income apartments. Um, and we have some uh, on G Street here in Lompoc, College Park Apartments. Um, we work with uh, uh, different uh, agencies, we collaborate with different agencies, and we have both social services um, that we provide to the residents of that apartment complex. And it currently um, houses 35 families, so yes, that's how okay. we help. Great. And um, what's been your experience working with the city of Lompoc? Um, can you tell us about some of the programs you've collaborated on? Well, the city's council and the community development um, had the foresight to see the need for uh, for helping families uh, with down payment assistance um, so that they could buy their homes in the city of Lompoc. So um, they approached the Santa Barbara Housing Trust Fund and People Self Help Housing, and uh, we were to develop and implement a program in order to assist low income families be able to purchase their homes. Um, so in September of 2016, we launched a program, and uh, which is the city of, of Lompoc Down Payment Assistance Program and it would help families and households that are uh, below 80% of the area median income limit. Um, and so they would purchase their first home in the city of Lompoc. Great. And do you know about how many families you've helped? The we, um, currently we have helped eight families in the city of Lompoc. So eight, eight uh, loans have closed and there are currently about 13 uh, applicants that have taken our first time home by our education course through eHome America. Great. Well, I'm sure they're very grateful to have your help. So. Yes, it has, it's, a, it's an amazing experience to be able to assist families get into their first homes. It's really exciting. Nice. Yes. Great. And um, can you explain some different ways that you help people find housing? In well, we don't actually help them find their housing. Um, we do help them get started by having them complete their online um, home buyer course. And then we work with the participating, we have them work with the participating lenders to see um, if they qualify and to get pre-approved. Um, and then we do income certifications to see if they meet the eligibility guidelines. Um, and then once our uh, approved lenders uh, give them the pre-approval, we go forward with um, doing the underwriting on the loan. And we currently work with Wells Fargo Home Mortgage, mm -hmm. uh, Guild Mortgage, Bank of America, Broadview Mortgage, uh, King's Mortgage Services, Robble Bank, and Ventura County Community Development Corporation. So once they get pre-approved, they can work with their real estate agent and they will help them find a house in their price range. Great. Sounds like there's a lot of resources here for people looking to find houses in Lompoc. Yes, there are a lot of resources and it's just helping the development flourish and, and helping the community flourish and grow here in the city of Lompoc. So. so where can people get more information on this program, Anna? Well, if anyone has any questions or would like to find out more information about the City of Lompoc Down Payment Assistance Program, they can contact me by phone at 805-540-2446, or they can contact me by email at Anna V at P, as in Paul, SHHC.org, or they can also try the City of Lompoc website. Great. That's cityoflompoc.com. Thank yes. you. You're welcome. All right. It's trivia time again. Which of the following is a planned future housing development in the city of Lompoc? Is it A, Summit View Homes, B, Laurel Crossing, C, Santa Rita Village, or D, Briar Creek? Correct, it's A, Summit View Homes. <laughs> Uh, projects in the works for future housing here. Thank you, Samantha. We have 
several projects that we have been working on, the city staff with developers in Lompoc. One of the biggest is the Burton Ranch project. That project is uh, approximately 460 residential units, and that is at the north side of the city, uh, on the Y, across the street from Allen Hancock College. So Good the, location. It is a great <laughs> location, and that's a, a 460 homes, so that's a big project. The developers for that project would like to uh, create a community facilities district, and that is, that is a new district Community Facilities District is a new district for the City of Longpoke, and uh, we are working with them right now to put the policies in place and to do the financial assessments. Put the policies in place and do the financial assessments that are needed to create the district. The developers want to create this district because it's a financing tool. And with this financing tool, they'll be able to do the infrastructure that will ultimately lead to construction. Great. And, and, and what are some other developments we have in the works, too? So across the street from the Burton Ranch project, again at the Y, north side of the city, uh, caddy quarter to Allen Hancock College, is Summit View Homes. And we've been working with the developers on that project to have that project annexed into the city from the county. So that was an extensive negotiation that the city undertook with the county to, uh, that really distilled down to questions of how we would uh, negotiate the tax sharing agreement. And ultimately that was resolved that because the developer came forward and said, I'll make up the difference in, in costs for the fire protection services by creating a community facilities district. So now we're gonna have two community facilities districts. Um, yeah. And that project, that project is 44 homes. And uh, I think, really, I think that that could be one of the first projects that we'll see uh, come to construction here in Longboat. Okay. And it's hard to put a timeline, a specific timeline on these projects, uh, but we look forward to them sometime in the near future. Is that right? We're, we're working hard yeah. on them. We know this yeah. is a priority for the city council, and the developers also know that it's a priority. Mm -hmm. um, there's really an opportunity here. Um, there's a lot of groundwork that goes into this before we actually get to put sticks in the ground. Yeah. So it sounds like we have some really great projects coming to the city of Lompoc, some housing. So a lot to look forward to. Stay tuned for more on that. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you. All right, are you ready for our last trivia time? Which division in the city of Lompoc runs vital programs that assist Lompoc residents in finding housing? A, engineering, B, community development, C, building, or D, finance? Correct, it's B, community development. Wow, Jasmine, we saw some great housing programs today. I think I'm ready to go buy a house. <laughs> Most definitely. So if any of these programs interested you today or you want some more information, please feel free to go to the City of Lompoc website in the Community Development Division and find out more information about these programs. We partner with a lot of great agencies and we really encourage you to come check us out. CityofLompoc.com. All right, we'll see you next time when we tune, tune in, in Lompoc. Lompoc.